Welcome to Features in 5, our series of 5-minute lessons about enhancements to Penny, our investment partnership accounting software. In this lesson, we'll introduce you to our investor payouts functionality. In the next 5 minutes, you'll learn exactly what an investor payout is, as well as the different types of payouts and how Penny processes them. You'll see how to specify payout amounts given to investors in a fund, and how to specify reinvestment percentages by partner or shareholder in series. And you'll see how investor payout details are displayed on the investor payout report. So let's get started with all this great information about our investor payout feature. First, let me tell you a little about an investor payout. It's made up of two separate investor transactions a reduction that takes money out of the investor's account, and a possible reinvestment that uses the money removed in the reduction and puts it back into the fund. There are two types of payouts in Penny, stock and cash. Depending on the type, the reduction and reinvestment transactions vary. Let's see how. In a stock payout, the capital is taken out of the investor's account and reinvested back into the fund at the start of the next period. Accrued fees for the investor are not reduced, and the loss carry forward is not reduced. The reduction transaction is a dividend, and the reinvestment transaction is a contribution. A stock payout is only available for share-based investor roles. A cash payout removes capital from the investor's account and lets them choose whether they are paid the amount or it is reinvested back into the fund. It has the same impact as a withdrawal in that it reduces the accrued incentive fees and any loss carry forward. The reduction transaction is a withdrawal and the possible reinvestment is a contribution. So, how do you enter a payout transaction in Penny? We have a new screen for that. The Investor Payout screen enables the entry of payout details, including the fund, investor role, payout type, total amount, share amount or percent, account information, and currency and exchange rate for foreign payment transactions. And if we take a look at the Reinvestment tab, here you can specify a percentage to reinvest for each investor for both stock and cash and payout types. You can also easily specify 100% reinvestment for all the investors using the All button, or specify 0% reinvestment for all investors using the None button. And of course we remembered the important aspect of reporting. A new Investor Payout Report shows you confirmations of each payout reduction and reinvestment transaction. There's a code for each transaction associated with a payout, such as a dividend, beginning or end withdrawal, or contribution reinvestment. Note that payout transactions are not displayed on the Investor Acknowledgement Report, since amounts and participating investors are calculated as part of period processing. Now you have a pretty good overview of our Investor Payout feature. You know what an Investor Payout is and the different types that Penny processes. You also understand how to specify in Penny payout amounts given to investors in a fund and how to specify reinvestment percentages by partner or shareholder in series. And you're familiar with the Investor Payout report and its details for each payout transaction. We're excited to bring you this new Investor Payout feature. If you'd like more information, please contact your Client Relationship Manager. You can also visit the Penny Help file at any time by pressing F1 on your keyboard or selecting Help from the window menu. Until next time, thanks for watching our Features in 5.